Alright, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Lazio career mode. Today we'll take on Fiorentina in our first match, but let's actually take a look at the calendar. And we will see that we will finish off October in this episode, as we also have games against Torino and Hellas Verona. And then we get into November, which doesn't look too busy at all. Uh, with only four games, and one of them being a cup match against Bologna, who I'm pretty sure are in the second tier. So we will have a score report probably at the end of this episode. Or maybe in the next one, I'll still have to decide that. But anyways, uh, we have some pretty good news as uh, Balde Keita is coming back from injury. He's pretty much been injured only for one game now, which is uh, alright, I guess. We did we did have a huge break between the Sassuola game and this Fiorentina game right now. So I don't think I'm going to play him just yet because he still has that little sign next to his head. So... I'm still uh, going to wait on that. And uh, yeah, let's get into this game against Fiorentina. It's a pretty tough match. As they are in 4th place and Parma on 3rd. That is actually... I'm not really sure what to say about that, really. I mean, comparing that to the current situation. I guess you've got to be happy for them. Alright, so looking at the table yet again. They are 2 points behind us, so... We could possibly slip all the way into, uh, down to 5th place if Inter win their game. And Parma win theirs too. So three points are a must have here. Or maybe a draw would be alright too. Alright, so taking a look at Fiorentina's side. We've got Mario Gomez up front, Sala to his right, and Mika Richards at right back, obviously. Pretty solid side, but I think we could beat him. Alright, and here's our side. Not too many surprises, really. Edison in, Edison in at Cam instead of Maori because I don't know I like playing with Edison a bit better than with Maori. Mario Gomez has got through and Salah with a free header there, a pretty much free header because it was uncontested for some reason and he's hit the crossbar. Right, got a free kick here with Parolo. Let's try to cross that in. There's Radu. Can't get ahead of, obviously. But we still go back. Edison. And that's a free kick to us. That is very good because we have somebody who can kick those. I think you all know who it is. And yes, you guessed it right. Antonio Candreva. So let's try to bend that one in from 23 yards out. Oh, that could be good. And obviously it is. <laughs> This guy is just way too good. Antonio Contreras is just way too good. Oh my god, just look at that. That was just easy. So easy and the keeper doesn't even bother diving. I mean, why should he? That was it perfectly. Wow. Right into the top left corner. Just look at it. Mmm. <clears throat> We are dominating this game right now. Parolo, come on, pass it in. Djordovic, keep it in. Yes, pass it. Shoot. Oh, it's blocked by Mika Richards. Oh my god. God, Mario Gomez is such a threat. Such an aerial threat. It's absolutely crazy. Oh my god, they're just fouling me over and over again. They're just sliding in all the time. What the hell is wrong with them? Maybe a bit salty. Ah, oh, that's a mistake there. That's a mistake. Nice pressure by Edison there. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, I've got to cut back. The Djordovic hit that. Oh, it's blocked. All right, here's Kavanda. Got five added minutes, obviously. That's usually the case when you're leading 1-0 against a computer. But it's Kandreva here. Hit that one. Oh, it would have been an absolute screamer. Yet another screamer by Kandreva. But unfortunately, it's still only 1-0. Because weaker left foot. Couldn't hit that one. Just so close. Alright, and that is it. Yet another 1-0 win. We've had a couple of those, actually. Pretty much almost every game has uh, finished 1-0. At least it feels like it. I know we've got a couple games with uh, more goals, but most of them have gone down as a 1-0 win for us. we got Christian Ledesma complaining about his playing time. I mean, you're 32 years old and this... Nah, nah, I'm not gonna play you that often. You're just too old and not really good enough anyways. Oh my god. 
Etrid Berisha wants to play in the next game. You're my second goalkeeper. It's against Serena, not the weakest of sides. Let's take a look at you, actually. 73 rated. It's already better than Nardi in my move career mod, but... Oh, you know what? I guess... I guess we might as well. I think now we can also put Keita back into the squad. Uh, and Lilith is gonna go back at CDM. Now we just need Felipe Anderson to come back. And that's probably gonna not gonna be for a long time as he got injured. Not sure if you remember it, uh, when he was out with Brazil. Alright, so we're back at Stadio Olimpico with his home game against FC Torino. Haha, <laughs> yeah, that rhymed. But so do many, many words in the Italian language. So anyways, we are still sitting in second place after that last win against Fiorentina, which also puts us five points in front of them, which is not really too bad and I kind of didn't see where Torino was. I think they were actually at the bottom or like in the middle of the pack. Alright, so this is our side. A lot of changes actually to, uh, towards the last game. We've got uh, Maori in and also closer. Keita has come back from injury and also it's Basta and Kana in and also obviously our second goalkeeper in instead of Machetti because he wanted to play. So, anyways, here's Torino's side, and obviously they don't have Chiri Mobile anymore, which, in the form he is in this season, is probably good for them. But, anyways, yeah, let's see if we can beat them, actually. I think we probably should. Oh, come on. First time in my whole life a slide tackle works, and... They get it right back, but oh my god, what a chance that is, and Berisha, great save there. Hey, with saves like that, you're going to get yourself more opportunities, definitely, just look at that, great reaction. Oh, that was beautiful, come on, it's Keita, yes, yes, Kandreva, hit that, oh, it's blocked. Alright, it's corner, Maori, oh my god, that was close. Oh my god, what a pass that is. It's 1 0 to Torino. Oh, I was surely defending right there. What was I thinking? Oh, yes, Mari. There's Keita down there. Come on, hit that. Oh, it's Padelli with the save. Good start, though. Good start, come on. Let's cross that one in with Kondreva. There's Shana there, can't hit it, Keita, no. Are you serious? Are you serious? How has that gone through? What kind of goal was that? Let's take another look at that, that was just absolutely ridiculous. Goes past everybody. Everybody's just pretty much asleep. Ah, oh, nice pass to this man. Maybe I was wrong about you. Oh. Yes. Come on, Ledesma. Ledesma. How? How have they how have not scored there? Oh, yes. It's just. It's just making me cry right now. Pass it back to Lulic, over to Maori, over to Keita, hit that and yet again blocked, what a surprise. Alright, corner here, Kondreva, Kana, can't hit, Tunkara and yet again blocked, again not a surprise. There's Tunkara, come on, come on, get yourself a goal young man and let's see, beautiful finish there but it's probably too little too late. Oh, at least Tunkara got a goal. That's very good for his for his progression, for his growth, I guess. Obviously, in the 90th minute, in stoppage time, I finally scored. And the ref's gonna blow his right away. So we've lost that game, unfortunately. I don't know. I think it's a bit undeserved. We definitely deserved at least a draw here, but Torino were a lot more clinical with their chances, and that is the difference in this game and that's just how football goes. After yesterday's disappointing result to board field it is important to encourage you 
to experiment with the team dynamics and find a way to improve our outcome in the next match. I mean, come on! That's the second match I've lost out of eight, I think. Is it eight? Yes, it is eight. I mean, seriously, just calm the hell down. And Beris is happy that he's played. Well, congratulations. Alright, so let's get into this game against Hellas Verona, who are sitting at the bottom of the league table, I think in... Ooh, 18th or something. Uh, we're gonna see it in a second yet again, but... We do have to make a couple of changes, as there are some players tired. Alright, so I did not make that many changes, actually. I've put Zaza up front, who still has the score for us. Uh, and also Ederson at Cam, Parole at CDM instead of Lulic. And also uh, Brafite in at left back. So let's take a look at the table. Yeah, they are in 18th indeed. With only 6 points so far. One win, 3 draws, 4 losses. So we probably should beat them, but... Oh my god. Look at Tony's through. How is he out outpacing everybody? That's what I want to know. Oh no. Oh my god, please not. Oh, it's Bilia. That is very, very unfortunate. Shit. He's such a good player. Anyways, let's put Unazi in for Bilia. Ah, oh, I really didn't need that. Another injury. Come on, Kandreva. Can we get a goal before halftime? That would be just amazing. Shot fake here. Yes. Ah. Oh. What? He gave the advantage! He gave the advantage there! I should have gotten a free kick! Yes. No, how is that... How is that a free kick? Of course. Of course. Oh yes, Saza. Get through here. Score! Man, what a terrible signing. Oh. Alright, Perea. Where can we go? Devry. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's just no way, there's no way through them. Alright, and that's it. We've lost 1-0 to Hellas Verona. How, how the hell did I manage to do that? I have no idea. Stupid free kick, man. And more great news. Lucas Bilia is out for four weeks. Yay! But yeah, let's take a look at the score report right now. So Marchetti is still an 81 overall goalkeeper. Just like Cavanda. Not much has changed, has it? Mm. No. Nothing at all. Really? Oh, Djordovic is up to an 81 overall. That is nice. But other than that... Not much progression at all in the last month. Just a bit sad to see. When will he be? Oh my god, still two months without Philippe Anderson. That is just fucking eight. Look at that. Parma are now in front of us. <laughs> how? <laughs> just how? But we've lost a lot of ground towards Juventus with those last two losses. But anyways, let's do it better next time. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you did. It really helps my channel out. Subscribe for more Lassie Kareemot and support the series. Tune in next time. See you guys then. Goodbye.